Hi everyone, it's Hani from Hanielas. Today I'll be making traditional Moravian kolache. Some people call these sweet rolls, cheese rolls, cheese buns or round yeast treats. I call them kolache. And in fact, they are the very first thing that I ever baked. So let's bake some kolache. And here I'm just adding some honey into my warm milk. Always make sure you use warm milk, not hot milk when working with yeast. Because hot milk will kill the yeast. And now I'm going to add some dry yeast. If you're looking for all the measurements and ingredients for this recipe, just fast forward to the end of the video. There is a, a recipe waiting for you. And just whisk it and let it stand for 5 to 10 minutes. And now I'm adding a whole egg to my egg yolks. And then a splash of vanilla. Here I also have, as you see, some uh, um, melted butter and oil and granulated sugar. And this is what the mixture will look like, our yeast mixture. So just make a little well in a flour and add the mixture of yeast and milk and honey into the bowl. And then add uh, melted butter and oil. Make sure you're using cold melted butter. And then granulated sugar and then our egg mixture. And then using a hook attachment uh, mix this all together on low speed until it starts to come together. You may want to scrape the bowl a few times and just uh, mix it on low speed. And then add uh, soft butter. So just scrape it out and add all the soft butter into the yeast mixture and mix a little more little more, little more, until it starts to come together and then uh, flour your work surface and dump it on to a board and then uh, you have to knead it with your hands a little bit just until it comes together and then uh, you can uh, spray the bowl with some nonstick spray or brush it with oil and cover it with uh, plastic wrap and you're ready to let the dough rise I bet that sometimes you are wondering where to put the dough to rise, right? Well, here's a little trick. Bring three cups of water to boil. Pour boiling water into a shallow container or a dish you have. And then place this dish with boiling water on the bottom rack in your oven. And then on the middle rack, place the bowl with the yeast dough. And then just close the oven and watch the dough rise. It's very simple and effective. I hope you try it. And while the yeast dough is rising in the oven, we can prepare the filling or topping. This is farmer's cheese. You can also use ricotta cheese. I'm adding granulated sugar and some egg yolks. Um, I'm using farmer's cheese because that is what is traditionally used with this recipe. And this is our dough that has uh, risen quite nicely. Punch it down and dump it onto a lightly floured surface. And since this is a sweet yeast dough, you don't want to overwork it, so don't knead it too much, because then uh, the finished product will be tough, and we want it to be airy and tender and light. And then take a knife and cut it in half, and you can now roll it with a rolling pin, and I'm going to roll it into about quarter inch thick or so. It can be a little thicker, that's fine. And then take a round cutter and cut out rounds. You could also use um, glass. And I'm moving these onto my prepared baking sheet. My baking sheet is lined with uh, parchment paper. You can uh, gather the scraps and re-roll the dough. And in a minute I'll show you two variations of kolache. My grandmother used to make field kolache and uh, some people also make uh, kolache with uh, only a topping. So to make uh, field kolache you need to spread the rounds a little bit and then add the filling in the center and then gather the sides and pressing them creating a field kolache. Here I'm going to add uh, jam in a in the center. I'm using just raspberry jam. So add the jam in the center and then uh, take two opposite sides of your round and press them together 
like this and then just repeat the process and place this on a baking sheet. For unfilled colache with just the topping I'm using a round glass and I'm pressing the bottom onto the rounds that I placed on the baking sheet earlier creating a deep and wide well and then just fill this well with cheese. For uh, my filled colache I'm using my fingers and pressing down creating a well and then adding cheese. And then you have to brush these with egg wash and once you're done doing that let them rise again for about 20 minutes and then you have to bake them at 385 for about 15 minutes until they are golden brown. And this is what they look like when they come out of the oven. Your house will smell beautifully and everyone will enjoy this, I guarantee. You could also make this ahead of time. I like to freeze them in Ziploc bags and then um, I just put the one or two in the microwave in the morning and they are just so good with uh, some coffee or tea and if you are looking for the recipe with the list of ingredients here is the recipe followed with the filling you can use other fillings as well and here are just some details about the process so I hope you enjoyed this uh, recipe tutorial don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching see you next time